Hey guys, it's Jack from Tech Let's Plays here, and today I'm bringing you the first uh, Football Manager Let's Play of this format. It's going to be a review of the month, so today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, month of October. Uh, we got five games here today, uh, Preston, Middlesbrough, Norwich, Millwall and Leicester, so uh, let's go right down to it. In the Preston game, we managed to scrape a win, 1-0, one, one and Claude Davis getting on the score sheet with Horava and uh, Claude Davis also receiving bookings. Uh, here we can look at the match stats, uh, quite fortunate to get away with a win here today. Uh, but it does bounce out, so let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the goals. Um, not particularly interesting match, although uh, there are there was the next game against Middlesbrough. Is um, in real life, Crystal Palace have managed to sign uh, a, a new striker, and a uh, bit a bit of a scrappy goal, there, a bit of a scrappy goal. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put the replays down because that is what we're going to be doing. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was the goal for the Preston game. Uh, go on to Middlesbrough. Now we lost one 0 but it was very frustrating because look at the dominance. Uh, admittedly, they did have a little bit more possession, but six six to two shots on target. We just didn't take chances, and Oliver Kappel missed a penalty. So we're going to show the uh, key highlights in this one because it was a much more interesting game. Uh, but yeah, back going back to real life. Uh, Crystal Palace managed to sign. Um, <coughs> Oh yeah, it was Glenn Murray, uh, the Brighton uh, striker and uh, the second top scorer in League One uh, in the season we've just had. And uh, yeah, so uh, we actually had a pretty early on chance with uh, Vaughan, but um, going down the left-hand side here, coming in, and good passing play, that's what I'm trying to get uh, my guys to do. But you can really notice the uh, difference, and uh, if we go ahead and skip on near to the goal... Um, you can really notice the difference in quality because I also play with um, uh, Arsenal on a, a different save and um, just the the finishing and the taking of chances and also the holding on we just can't seem to hold on to results uh, it's it's remarkable really and um, yes so uh, let's go ahead and uh, skip to the next big uh, event another corner and here was the penalty decision <coughs> uh, I didn't really see it, it must have been uh, a scrap in the box I guess um, but Capo was to come up and hit the uh, penalty and uh, no, I thought it would show current uh, as of this time match stats but it just shows the overall and uh, really disappointing because I thought we, we should have won this game and somehow we managed to lose it uh, this was the only loss in uh, October but uh, yeah and uh, there are all the major highlights out of the way. Uh, sorry about that, I just had to uh, do something for my mum. So yeah, win and loss so far, but we've got three consecutive one all draws. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a look at stats. Yeah, Norwich are a very good size, but um, 44th minute they got someone sent off, which was really annoying um, considering like, we scored in the first minute, then they got someone sent off, and we got someone sent off. But they scored 90 plus 4, and there was only meant to be 3 minutes of flipping extra time. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the goals. Um, very annoying, they did dominate us, but they still, oh, to lose like that. There was a goal in either final minute of the uh, of the half. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the league table. And that... Um, but yeah, as you can see, we got a goal straight from the kickoff uh, before I'd even set any of my uh, my little shouts or anything. But uh, we got Dan's playing the ball into Ambrose, back to Dan's. Good passing play, which is good stuff. And then Mario gets his, uh, I believe that's his first, yeah, first ever goal. So uh, that's very, very nice to see him getting on the score sheet. Um, not really scoring too many goals, bit of a worry, but uh, I'm sure we can uh, we can sort it out. And here's Norwich's goal, but I will show you both red cards as well. F 90 plus ball absolutely ridiculous so here is oh so uh Diego Placente was the uh, Norwich player to get sent off and we'll see it in a minute I'm sure after we receive the receive the ball from the throne he'll slide someone out or something uh, apparently Dan's challenged the player who got sent off from me yeah there we go big big slide in there and uh there's Dan's is there, and I really have no idea, because he's not on the floor, everything's fine, he's kind of on the ball, but then, boom, out of nowhere, I got a red card, and I did not see that coming, so, uh, that was the first one, then we got a game against Millwall, which I'll just show you the goals, as you can see, we dominated them, really should have won again, um, 
We were annoying. Two injuries as well. Two pretty big injuries, which is annoying. But here's our goal. Free kick in. Uh, J.D. Craddock, of all people, finding the net with his head into the bottom corner. Uh, nice header. Uh, really should have beaten Millwall, though. And, uh... Yeah, and then, uh, there you go, we, we lose possession, which is very stupid, very stupid indeed, especially when we're in their final third, and, uh, who loses possession? Yeah, I don't know, uh, a somewhat petty chance, and keeper builds it up, and then they just keep the ball, and we don't close them down, I guess. He's not tight enough, J.D. Craddock, you should know that, and then he's got way too much space, Boats are on the edge of the box, that is unacceptable. And I guess that's the, um the highlights of this game and that's the good thing about uh, watching them back and as you see a pretty mixed game we had much more shots uh, on target and we scored Julia Cruz finally getting a goal and they got one just on the edge of half time this was a very boring match the second half like pretty much nothing happened I don't think there was a single highlight but um first half was good no nonetheless um so yeah, an interesting month for us. Just got Rick Shays off Cruise there for the goal pretty early. I seem to be scoring all my goals uh, very early into the game, which I don't know if that's a worry or a positive. Um, very interesting indeed. But here's their goal. Just a free kick in the half. Just some good passing play. And a good finish in the end. Nothing nothing more to it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the league table. As you see, we're still there on 19th, uh, 14 points, so we're 5 points clear of the uh, the drop zone. And uh, if we got that win against Middlesbrough, 17 points would have taken us up a bit, but never mind, never mind. Um, player of the Month goes to John Stead, Bristol City. Uh, good, 3 goals in 5, five games. Uh, second place, uh, Bueno, on loan, which is annoying. And... Uh, yeah, Chad Evans with the uh, top three uh, in the third spot. And then um, Young Player of the Month, Tommy Smith. He's a good player. J. Manuel Thomas and uh, Chad Evans again. Goal of the Month goes to Michael Taveras, uh, Simon Church, and then Adal Tarapt. And um, Manager of the Month goes to Eddie Howe, a uh, good manager. I rate him quite highly, indeed. Um, what else is here? Did we sign anyone? I believe we signed um, uh, staff. Oh, uh, loaned out Karuma. And uh, who else? I got Dan's, because uh, of that, sending off a find him two weeks wages, which he accepted. Um, see a lot of people, a lot of interest. And uh, here, uh, this guy who delayed uh, physiotherapist I, I believe I'm uh, approaching him for physiotherapist and uh, transfer. Could oh, but I didn't have sufficient funds. My wage budget was incomplete because I signed a nice little player who actually is slightly injured, but Cavan Callum Davenport. Um, got him on a free. Interesting stats, not too bad. Experience in the... Champions League, um, not Champions League, Jesus, uh, in the Premier League and Championship. Uh, if you take a look at his history, he's had spells at West Ham and Tottenham in the Premier League and also Coventry when they were, jeez, that was a long ass time ago. But um, yeah, he had ma most of his, his experiences in the Empire Championship. So uh, hopefully he'll be a good little player. Uh, maybe stop us leaking so many goals. Uh, assistant manager does rate him as. The uh, top two uh, centre-back in my team. Uh, I've also got left-back Avedersiak and Geary at right-back. So uh, I believe you guys aren't aware of this guy. Signed him on a free as well. And uh, if you're not aware of Geary either, because I'm not sure how long ago my other things uh, were on. But here's Geary's stats. All right, fairly old, got him on a free. And um, also I'm trying to loan out... Yan Nasaku and Czech Karoma, but uh, not he. They're not um, eligible f for loaning out just yet. Uh, Harava got an injury, which is annoying. Leo Dan suspended, and Julia Cruz injury as well. Callum Davenport is due to come back in around a day, so hopefully things will look up next month. Next month features uh, fixtures are got quite a few actually. Uh, 
five again. Watford, Derby, not Forest, Barnsley and QPR. So we have a quick look at the league table to finish. So we've got Watford, Derby, QPR and I've forgotten the last one. But yeah, should be an interesting month. Definitely get the win against Watford. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like and comment before you leave. It helps me out so much. Helps other people find this video. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more.